Hey, yeah, what's up, everybody? What's up, brother? How you doing? How are you doing? Good, man. Good, good. Um, yeah, so my name is Andre, obviously. Uh, I work at The Nations, which is a MCN uh, slash kind of parent company of, uh, of a YouTube channel called Trap Nation. Uh, underneath The Nations, we have eight uh, curator channels. Basically, what we do is we take a song a day, uh, whether it's a song that you own or a song that we release through our label, uh, we put it through YouTube um, and we share it to over 45 million subscribed users. Um, I started that when I was 15. Um, I've been doing it for about mm, seven, eight years now. Um, and then we have a publishing company, a label. Um, you know, we're doing stuff, some stuff with you, obviously. Um, trying to work out some of the live events stuff. Maybe not so much right now. Um, but uh, hopefully in 2021, we'll, we'll work more in the live events industry as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my background. Awesome, awesome. I see you guys are doing um, some really great stuff um, in the digital side coming up. Yeah. Um, how how is how has the nation's been affected by this? Has there been um, have you seen a lot of traffic being uh, like increased from from everyone being at home? Yeah, uh, you would, you would think uh, streaming and like digital numbers would increase from something like this because everyone's stuck inside and and I guess kind of the correlation there is like I guess with Call of Duty Warzone and all the new games coming out. Um, all the servers are super jam-packed with people playing the games. But ironically enough, streaming went down um, for our channels in the last about month from this um, predicament, unfortunately. Um, so it's been kind of difficult because we're now starting to see some of the numbers decrease a little bit. Um, but it hasn't been as bad as I think some people, um, some analysts on some blogs and stuff in the Get Out seem to be. Um, I guess on YouTube, it's a younger demographic compared to Spotify where it's more um, general in the entire world. I guess YouTube is more like 18 to 24 year olds um, and our demographic is a little different than the Spotify demographic. So it hasn't hurt us too much, um, but surprisingly there's no increase. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and, and what do you see the positives coming from this? Um, especially in, in your world, in the artist world, um, definitely want to touch on the nations as a label as well and how yeah. artists and, and producers can, you know, what's your process on submitting music to you guys and what are you guys looking for? Those types of yeah, things. Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, some positives, I, I think, you know, <laughs> coming from someone who literally works from home for the last eight years, this has been no drastic change to me whatsoever, other than the fact that I can't go out and get a beer or like, you know, I can't go out and get breakfast. But that's very like, those are privileges that I take advantage of. And I think throughout a moment like this, uh, it's making me realize actually how much I enjoy those things. And um, you know, how little it does actually impact my, my life in terms of my career and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, positives, I mean, you know, our company's quite young. We have some older people on board, obviously, as you know, with Creighton, he's a little bit um, on the older side, but, you know, everybody's quite adaptable and, um, you know, interchangeable enough to work at home and, and make their own um, spaces out of their apartments or houses into, a, into an office space. Um, honestly, the productivity for my company, we're pretty small. We're only about 11 full-time employees. It's been, if not the same, it's definitely been better. Um, I think it's everybody gets to work in their own space again, and I think people are taking advantage of that. Um, I think a lot of people also have pets, so it's like they can work from home with the dogs, and it's easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, three weeks ago when we had a big uh, meeting about this in our company, when we basically, I basically told everyone to just work from home, um, a big thing about that was uh, we wanted to go over – what positive things could we bring out of something like this? Because of course, if you listen to the news or if you listen to anybody, that's all they talk about is just like, how you holding up? You know, how's everything going? You know, and they talk about all the bad news with the virus and everything like that. And for me, um, my biggest challenge was, you know, I think the people that are gonna come out on top of this in entertainment, but other, also other industries are the people that can adapt and learn how to take a really negative situation and make it into a really positive outcome. Um, and I think with our company, that was a big standing point for me and, and talking point was, you know, we're an internet digital media company. We we're quite young. How do we take advantage of something like this where everybody's indoors, everybody's, you know, online right now on the internet? How do we create buzz and awareness for our company in a positive way, whether that's doing um, a digital uh, live festival in the next few weeks or it's releasing more songs to the, low, or to the, to the label that we have called Lowly, um, you know, just trying to take advantage of that. Um, so it's been pretty, pretty good so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, one of the positive things I think we're doing and taking advantage of, you know, we're doing, a, a, like I said before, a live stream, a digital festival live stream. It's going to be uh, broadcasted through Trap Nation and then also through Proximity, which is another channel uh, similar to ours. 
And uh, the first weekend, which is this weekend, we're going to be broadcasting to um, people. It's basically just a digital festival with a bunch of EDM acts. And then in two weekends from that, we're going to be doing a more um, wide variety genre uh, live festival with rock and hip hop and uh, a lot of Trap Nation acts um, on the EDM world as well. And then all the proceeds for those two festivals go to um, a charity that helps uh, musicians that are out of work right now. So that's kind of like, you know, again, like negative situation. How do we do something positive for it? You know, that's a direct correlation to that. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, a lot of my DJ homies are, are out of work right now. And, and um, that stuff means a lot to the community. So thank you for that. Yeah. No, of course. Of course.